What do you think of hydraulic brakes on BMX? Oh no. Well, let me find the post real quick. Was it on, uh, I think Dig posted it too, but I think we the people posted it. This is it right here? This is it, okay. All right, here we go. So <sighs> there's been a handful of people that have put hydraulic brakes on their bikes, but generally it's uh, you've got to do some custom work to get it to work. Or put hydraulic brakes on their BMX bike, generally you got to do some custom work uh, to get it to work, right? This is the new We The People um, signature frame for uh, for this guy, the Chaos Machine. Penny Chillin', I don't know. Penny Chillin', this dude got a signature frame, he's only got 5,000 followers. Oh, he's a Backbone BMX co-owner. All right, interesting dude. Anyway, here is the frame yet again. There we go, there we go, there we go. Um, Anyway, 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 let's look at let's look at the, the mounts here. So these are the mounts and uh, then you can put hydraulic brakes on your BMX. I don't feel really one way, you know, I don't feel any type of way about it, I guess. It's not, I think, I could be wrong. And this is, I'm, I'm really ignorant on this, on this subject because I don't ride brakes. So what I wanna say is that, you know, I don't think hydraulic brakes, the issue that hydraulic brakes on a BMX are solving is not very good stopping power, right? And so, so if we have a problem as BMX riders, well, I pull my brake, but it doesn't stop very good. And then the solution is hydraulic brakes on a BMX bike. The thing is, I don't think that this problem is actually a problem. I've never heard somebody say, man, I wish I could stop faster with my bike. But then again, I don't ride brakes, so I really like, don't know that much about it. Um, and, and maybe that is a real problem, but in my head, what do you guys think? Is that a real problem? Do people really have an issue um, with not being able to stop fast enough? So I, I don't think that's a real problem. So then it's like, is it worth spending extra money on this bike uh, to have hydraulic brakes on it if there's really not much of a problem? There, there's, it, it, seems, it seems silly because it's not, not that necessary in my opinion. I see there's also the argument for weight, and I don't know what the frame weighs, I guess it doesn't say, but um, like Ricky Veronic, I'm pretty sure put disc brakes on his bike because he likes to ride brakes, and the disc brake system was uh, significantly lighter than the standard brake system that we use on bikes. And so that would be an argument for us. Like, hey, I want hydraulic brakes on my bike to save weight. That's a fair argument. But again, if that's the case, you'd probably want to build titanium frame with hydraulic brakes or a very light frame. We the people frames generally aren't that light. And so then again, this frame doesn't solve that problem, doesn't help out with that problem. I could be wrong, it could be super light. I don't know the way, but um, from what I can tell, it's probably not. But uh, uh, so anyway, I think it's kind of, it's a cool idea, don't get me wrong. It's a cool idea and uh, it could, I don't know, you, you could see more at the skate park, I guess, but, but in terms of like utility, I don't see the point, if that makes sense. I don't see the point. It, sure, you're gonna have better stopping power, but do you need better stopping power? Is that something, is that really an issue? And sure, it's gonna make the, the bike lighter if you run brakes, but the extra hardware on the frame, is that gonna make it, you know, is that gonna make it that much heavier? Is it worth that? I don't know. It's a cool idea, but I don't see, I don't see the utility. I, it seems kind of, kind of pointless, you know what I mean? But anyway, that, that's kind of, that's my hot take on it, so. Yeah, so Kirk here says, you know, that uh, heaps of people have had disc brakes uh, in racing and he's considered putting disc brake mount on the tie frame. And I think the reason for that would be weight, right? And, and to me, that makes sense. If you're gonna put disc brakes on a titanium frame because you're chasing all the weight savings you can get, makes sense. Um, on that other frame, I don't know, it seems kind of, uh, kind of silly, kind of pointless, you know, but. So if you like talking about and learning about BMX, join the BMX Nerd Discord. The link to the Discord is in the description. It's a huge online community with over 400 members. Every single person in there loves BMX just as much as you and I. It's a good place to post pictures of your bike, ask questions, post clips of your riding, and do anything BMX related with a BMX community that loves riding. So click that link, join the Discord. If you enjoyed this video and you got any value out of it, consider hitting the subscribe button because it really helps me out. We'll see you guys in the next video.